Dr. Lisa Thompson here and I'm coming to you from my home office outside of Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Welcome to Lessons in Leadership where we're discussing principles and concepts to expanding our influence to do more and be more for the people we serve. Today we're talking about attention. Leaders are constantly paying attention to what is around them. They're paying attention to what people say and what they're not saying. They're always paying attention to what is going on in the environment and the energy that's going on within it. They're either looking at one of two things. Is the group focused on an energy drain where they're distracted and complaining and not doing what they're supposed to be doing to keep moving forward? Or does the group have a high energy source where they're excited, passionate, and their influence is growing. They're generally happy, enthused, and grateful about being a part of something greater. Leaders are always looking at the environment that may be changing the energy, whether it's circumstances, people, and or events that are becoming either energy drains or energy sources. I want to go back and revisit Gypsy. Now, if you haven't listened to the episode called Gypsy, I highly recommend that you do because it was this patient that taught me the greatest lessons when it comes to paying attention. Just to give you a brief recap, Gypsy was this 85-year-old schizophrenic female who lived in a nursing home who could not communicate to us verbally and she was having a high incident of falls and the only way to manage her behavior because she was verbally and physically aggressive was to give her medications via a shot to manage her behavior. And in doing so, it made her walk like a drunk and she had a lot of falls. So she came to our clinic where the physical therapy uh, colleague of mine, Beth and I, worked with her to help her communicate better and talk better. Even though Gypsy could not verbally communicate a coherent thought, she communicated to us through her walking. And that's what Beth picked up on right away when we were studying her behavior when she was interacting with her environment. And what we realized is that if terry cloth towels were nearby and she was having a bad day, she would pick up those terry cloth towels and fold them because not only did she like how the way they felt, but in her history, when she was a young adult, she did housekeeping work and was part of her job was folding towels. So what we started to do was we determined her what her walking pattern was of how she was having with her day. If she was having a good day or if she was having a bad day. And if she was having a real bad day, her steps and her pattern of walking changed. And we learned to put out those terry cloth towels to help her self-regulate her behavior. And we taught the nurses to look at that too. And what happened because of that, because we recognized within the environment how she walked was how she was communicating to us. She wound up for a period of seven months where she did not need a shot to manage her behavior. She also had no falls. This was huge because she was the most difficult patient in that building. And we were able to give her a high quality of life without having to resort to shots. Now, let me ask you a question. If you're a leader right now, how well are you paying attention to what is going on with your team? Are you watching and observing for signs of people speaking from a place of lack and struggle, stressed out, or are they speaking their truth and always looking forward? When you pay attention as a leader, you will find other leaders merging within your group. You can then focus on those leaders to help them grow and develop their leadership skills. Because leadership is all about action. Action doesn't always focus on what is spoken, but also on what is unspoken. Your body language, your posture, your written communication and your intention or that voice, that energy you give off of knowing who you are, what you stand for, who you're fighting for, and where you are going. And as you pay attention, this attention also builds your skill set of anticipation. 
you will then know and recognize the patterns and changes that come up so that when you see that happening within your group, you can immediately implement those strategies to redirect people to do what they're supposed to be doing. If you found today's information helpful, please leave a comment and share. And if you'd like to know more information on leadership mindset and other strategies to help you be someone for someone, stop by my blog at drlisamthompson.com. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of Attention, and I will talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>